Hi, I'm Charlie Thorburn. Welcome to Mordor Gun Dogs. Um, this week it's absolutely horrible raining outside. Um, so we're going to do a little bit of inside training with Waffle. We're going to do something really simple. We are just going to talk about a crate and how to encourage a dog to, to go into their crate and want to be in their crate and also how to teach some manners waiting at the door. So what do we need? We need a crate. Now, this is, um, this is really more like an air crate. It's what you would uh, fly a dog in. Um, I actually like them better than the, the, the standard ones you see in the UK, which are like a fold flat, the mesh sides. There's nowhere for the dog's feet to get caught. They're more contained, okay? Safer for them. They're not gonna get their paws caught in the bars, etc., or less likely to. Um, if they do make a mess, you know, they're puppies and they do make a mess, it's gonna contain the mess. It's not gonna go all up the walls of your house especially if they've got an upset tummy or they have a wee and then they fly around everywhere. Um, we've also got a roast knuckle bone um, and we've got some biscuits. Now, many of you who've watched the videos will know I'm not a big fan of treats. I'm not anti-treats, I just don't like the way they're used for literally everything. I always say to people, you don't, I don't walk around my house with a pan, uh, pocket full of pound coins giving them to my kids every time they put a sock on. I do the same with dogs. I, I treat the dogs in the same way. But when we're teaching them something new as a young dog, I will use, I will use a, a treat as a bribe just to speed up the, um, the process. So I'll encourage them into the box by throwing a biscuit. I'll encourage them to want to stay in the box by um, giving them a boat. So we've got our crate, we've got our treats. All we need now is waffle. Okay, so here is little waffle now. Waffle has not been in the house um, very much. He came in as a puppy, um, played around with my kids and things, and then he was in one of the in one of our outside puppy runs, which is our grass paddock area where he gets to um, play with his brothers and sisters. And um, and then he subsequently he's gone out to the been out of the kennel. So when I bring him into the house, I bring him on a leaf because if not, right now Waffle would be on the sofas, he'd be into everything, he'd be grabbing cables, and he'd just be being Waffle. Okay, so we want to prevent rather than cure. How do we stop a dog chewing a cable? We don't let them do it in the first place. Okay, so the first thing we've got to do is we've got to just encourage Waffle to want to go into the crate. So I'm going to just let Waffle know that I've got a couple of biscuits. <laughs> Waffle being the adventurous cat that he is, he stole straight in and he's, he's in there, he's exploring it. I put the biscuits in there. Every time I open the crate door to send him in, I would say, Waffle's bed. Okay, and then when I want him to come out, I just open the door, and the first thing I do is I use the, the clicking noise of the crate hitting the top of it. Wait. 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 Now I don't want to shut his toes in the door. Wait. Wait. But I don't want him coming out, wait, until he's asked. So every time I shut that door, wait. I say wait. Waffle, come on, Waffle. Waffle, come on. Good boy. Good boy. Now when I call him, he comes barreling out. And again, you know, if I let him, if I let him go, he's going to knock over all sorts of stuff in here because we're in quite a sort of tight situation. So he comes out. We've got him still on, on the lead. Good boy, sit. Waffle. Bed. Bed. So I just throw a couple of biscuits in and I say, Waffle, bed. And I encourage him in. Really important, he goes in there and he then spends time in the crate just understanding that he's just got to relax and, uh, and, and get used to it. We don't want him howling, we don't want him barking, we don't want him getting up to mischief. So, that's where this comes in, okay? So these things are, we used to get them from our local farm shop, a uh, sort of farmer's type shop. Um, they're just a roasted knuckle bone. Great for cleaning their teeth. A vet was charging hundreds of pounds to clean the dog's teeth. Get your dog one of these, stick them in a crate for a, for a few hours, and they'll clean their own teeth. So if we were going to leave Waffle in here for an extended period of time, we'd give him the bone, we'd get him so that that was a, a fun time to be in a crate because he's got a bone. Whenever we get someone gets a puppy from us, we give them a fairly extensive puppy pack, which teaches them about crate training and food and exercise and all sorts of things. And the crate training specifically, we say it should be in the crate six times a day, roughly. Um, 
so that when you get your puppy home for the first time, they're in and out of their crate that day, then they're in the crate at night. They're in and out of the crate the next day, then they're in the crate at night. The more they're used to just being in and out of the crate, the more the crate just becomes their little home, and they're less likely to complain about it. So he's been in there for a minute or two, so we're now going to open the door again. Wait, 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 wait. And if he escapes, I very quickly get hold of him. Wait. 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 Very quick to react to stop him coming out. Wait. Waffle. Come on then. And then I just call him out, make a bit of a fuss of him. Good boy. Now, I'm doing this in sort of fast forward motion because you guys are watching. Um, I would normally then have him out for 10, 10 minutes to take him out to the garden for a pee and then I bring him back again and I, and I try the whole thing again. Because we're just doing this for a short clip, we're, we're just going to send him back in bed. He's smelled that bone now. Bed. So the more time realistically he spends in there, on and off during the day, the more this becomes his little home. And this is never a punishment. We never go to put the dog in here because they've been naughty and oh, I've got to put up with them. We deal with that out in the field. We deal with that training outside. When they come into their crate, we're feeding them in their crate. We're, we're giving them a biscuit to start with for going in. We're giving them a bone if we're going to leave them in there for a longer period of time. But this is a nice little zone. This is waffle safety zone. We put him in here so that we can relax knowing he's not going to be on the sofa and on the, on the table and knocking things over and being a monkey. When, he comes, when we come to let him out of the crate, we take him straight outside into the garden for a pee. He does his pee, he gets praised for that, and then he can have a little bit of time loose in the house, in the kitchen, whatever, getting up to mischief, but being with us, hanging around with us. As soon as we are then gonna go and leave, back in his crate. So as I say, he's in and out of this on a regular basis. And it's a safety measure. It's a little bit like where the babies sleep. They generally sleep in a cot. Why do they sleep in a cot? Because it's safer for them. Do they want to be in the cot? No, they're standing there holding the bars going, let me out. But mummy knows best, or in this case, daddy jolly knows best. So he's in this crate for his own safety because if he was loose in here, there's bits of wood to chew, there's Lego lying around probably, um, there's cups of tea that he can knock over. So it's about drip feeding him slowly, slowly, slowly freedom into the, into the house. And always having this as our little place that Waffle can go when we need him out of the way because it's kids tea time or it's, uh, he's wet and filthy because he's been for a walk. We dry him off as best we could and then we put him in there in his little drying jacket and let him dry. He would sleep in here overnight. He would maybe go in the car in this as well if we didn't have a sort of a car set up like ours with dog crates. If you just had a regular car, you could put him in the back of this. He stops him lying all over your clothes. Uh, making them all wet and messy. So he's been in there for a few minutes. Now, he whined a minute a minute ago. I would never let a dog out because they whine. I'd never engage with them because they whine. I always make them wait. And then I go back to them when they're being quiet. Wait, 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 wait. And then he goes to come out. So I haven't asked him to come out. So I very quickly put him back in again. Wait, wait, wait. Wait. No. Wait. Wait. And you can see, having done it quite nicely, he's now bored of being in there, so he's trying to push out. Wait. Wait. He's selling another biscuit. I haven't thrown one in for him. Wait. Waffle. Good boy. To his pie. Bed. So I throw in a biscuit but just scoots his bottom in just to make sure he's in there. He eats his biscuits. Wait. Wait. He's quite happy in there exploring at the moment because his biscuits. Wait. Wait. And it's repetition, like all the other grading we've done with Waffle. It's doing this over and wait, over and over, and I'm preventing rather than curing. So I'd rather catch him before he got out, just correct him with a little 
ding on the door rather than actually having to physically catch him and put him back in wait what you've got to remember is every time he bolts past me and he gets away with it that's a little kick to waffle and a little cross to charlie so the less times he gets away with what he wants and the more times he has to do what i want the quicker this process will go if, if i have a sort of he escapes, then I wrestle him back, then he escapes, I wrestle him back, we're not really making any progress. Wait. Wait. Waffle. And we're just increasing that time that he waits at the door and waits at the gate, okay? I hope you've all found this useful. Um, and uh, this is just something you can practice on a rainy day with your little dog when you don't really want to go out in the uh, in the pissing rain. Remember, you get out what you put in. See you all again next time.